these Belgian waffles from All Recipes member Bobby Joe are the real deal. They get their height not from baking powder or soda, but from yeast. Because of the yeast, it takes a little more time for the batter to come together, but the flavor and crisp edges make it well worth the effort. Let's begin by activating the yeast. Add a quarter ounce of active dry yeast to a quarter cup of warm milk. It should be about 110 degrees. Let this sit until it starts to look creamy. It will take about 10 minutes. Now in a large bowl with three egg yolks, add three quarters of a cup of melted butter that's been cooled to lukewarm. And another quarter cup of warm milk. You want to be sure the milk and butter aren't too hot or else they can kill the yeast. Whisk it together. Add the yeast mixture. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And whisk it all together. Next, alternating wet and dry in small portions, stir in another two and a half cups of warm milk, alternating with four cups of all-purpose flour, and ending with the flour. In another bowl, beat three egg whites with an electric mixer until they form soft peaks. Fold the beaten egg whites gently into the batter. Cover the batter with plastic wrap, place it in a warm spot, and let it rise until it's doubled in volume. It should take about one hour. Several All Recipes members report success making the batter the night before and keeping it in the fridge overnight so they don't have to wait so long to get their waffle fix in the morning. When you're ready to cook the waffles, preheat your waffle iron. Brush or spray the plates with a little vegetable oil. And spoon enough batter for one waffle into the iron, following the instructions for your own waffle iron, but for many, it's about half a cup or so. Close the lid and bake until the batter stops steaming and the waffle is golden brown. You can serve each waffle as it comes off the iron. Or keep them warm in a 200 degree oven while you bake the remaining waffles. Serve these Belgian waffles with fruit, whipped cream, and maple syrup or honey, however you like them. All Recipes member Serena says, a recipe worthy of five stars. I've made these waffles many times. Whether you make the batter the night before or the morning of, they're amazingly delicious. Crispy outside and soft inside.